and then not and not pushing through it, and that made carrying the shame so worth it. I immediately took it off and. I don't know. It's just the peace. Because everyone, man, like, everyone you meet, there's, you, like, it's so easy to find the good in people. Like, mm-hmm. it's so easy to find something to love about a person. Na, kahit na, alam mo, madaming red flags, ang titignan mo pa rin naman yung, yung maganda. Kasi, kasi, kasi you want to make that choice to love that person. But, I think with J, the difference of Jason, uh, the difference of Jason and all the other people that I've dated, and dami na, kanya, and the others, <laughs> um, is the peace. I, I cannot, um, I cannot ignore that with how Jason did it. it there was so much peace, and you know, he's been my friend, and for for six years prior to us finally feeling other things than friendship. So I know him, and naging wingman niya pa ako ate. Naging wingman niya ako, tapos ako pa nagpo-proofread ng mga messages niya. So, medyo na-feel ko na, sabi ko, teka lang, na-proofread ko to dati, bakit sa akin mo sinisend? Um, na-feel na ko na yun, na may iba na. But with how he approached me, it felt like it was a different Jason. Because I know, I knew like how he did it before. But this time, he also felt like he was being led rather than he was trying to force something that he knew wasn't right. So, um, so yeah, it, it's really tease. And and so a lot of times na, um, marami kasi yan eh, kapag, di ba, yung love stories, it's either everyone celebrates it or it's us against the world. But regardless, you don't really find the approval of people. You just really find the peace of God. Like, when you know, you know. And when you know it's time to fight for it, then you won't have to strive for it. That's beautiful. I think divine approval is something that we should strive for in a relationship. I remember very vividly your out. You were telling me, you know, parang, I didn't even know like he was my friend and everything. Di ba, parang a lot of people, wait, you have to watch pala some kind of wonderful. Kasi yun, French, do ano yun. Nakonood mo na ba yun? Not yet. Okay, you put it, you take it down, some kind of wonderful. Anyway, there are a lot of girls that are in best friend relationships. Nakita na nila paano mo heartbroken yung best friend nila, yung kaibigan nila nila. Nakita na nila how the, the guy acts around girls that they like. And of course, they never know that deep inside, di ba, parang they have feelings for the guy. Di ba, parang when you suddenly feel something for your friend as someone who has gone through it, how do you deal with that feeling? Even though your friend doesn't know how you feel about him yet. <laughs> Please repeat the question. What happens? What happens? Right? You have a friend. You say you're Jason. If your friend is a friend, you're going to be a friend. You're going to be a friend. You know the style of your friend. You're a friend. Then you're a friend. Then you're a friend. Then you're a friend. Then you're a friend. Ano yung mafe-feel mo? At ano yung dapat mong gawin? <laughs> Honestly, ate kami. <laughs> Cringe. Ilang beses kami nag-cringe. <laughs> Cringe talaga kami. May nakakatawa yung line na gusto kita. So, oh. We have this new song with Pasa- with uh, with Ben and Ben called Pasalibo. Yes. And it's about um, a friendship and um, falling in love with your friend and how what it's really end with two words and it's gusto kita. Yung last two lines na yun, si Jason maglagay nun. And honestly, ginawa niya talaga sa akin yun. So, there was a... Sabi ko lang ka nung sinabi mo yun. Gumana na ko. Pero the way kasi he said it, sobrang nakakatawa. So, what happened was, oh no, it's raining. Sorry. It's raining. Okay, um, so 
so he 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 asked me if I can hang out with him and his friends. And then big lang kailangan umalis ng friends namin. Tapos he brought me to this cafe and he said I have to lay down my intentions because I want everything to be clear. Tapos as he says, it's goofy kasi siya. So sabi niya, uh, well, stop it na, yuck! <laughs> kasama yung yuck, kasama yung yuck. a month uh, before allowing him to um, to court me. Yeah, formally court me. But also, Ate, even before I allowed him to court me, I already knew I was gonna marry him. So, I know. Paano mo nalaman? Anong binigay siya yung divine message? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo si Jason? Si Jason ay only I've only seen him like a couple of times. Lalaking lalaki si Jason, no? Na parang, <laughs> he's the guy. Um, of course, like a boyfriend ka na, di ba? Yeah, but with with how we we waited, it was very scary for me because ako, honestly, I really wanted, I didn't want to wait for And then <laughs> it wasn't really a big thing. It was 
just they they they've been great friends of ours and um, they had full creative freedom uh, with me and Jason as we did the whole music video. We presented everything to them. Um, we wrote the scripts together. It was a really really nice time. Like we all enjoyed it thoroughly. Like um, pag ano pag nag ano na pag nagtape na lahat kami umiya kahit sa backstage. <laughs> <laughs> down to the guards of the church lahat umiyak and then pag cut na tawa lang ng tawa lahat so it was such a light set so you really so you you really see how how much they've matured how much um they have grown and how much respect they have for each other kanaala <laughs> nako kumakanta ka nung naging sila, di ba? Nung nagsaseo sila. It was you. You were the soundtrack at the beginning of their love affair. So sabi ko, it's, a, it's very appropriate. It ends and begins with Moira. <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> diba? It ends and begins with Moira. Maraming na, naniwala sa sa advice mo na parang sige, paabo ko pa ubaya. Pero anong masasabi mo, Moira, sa mga tao ayaw magpaubaya? Yung pinaglalaban nila, yung pagmamahal nila na kahit na sobrang pinagtatabuyan na sila no, I will fight for my love for you Paubaya is a song that you know, resonates deeply to a lot of people that you know, have gone through that but there are also people that do not want to make paubaya for those that do not want to make paubaya and want to fight for their love for the other person what advice can you give? For me, if you have peace then I have nothing else to say. Um, you fight all the way if you have peace. But if you don't, I pray that you would start knowing your worth. Because paubaya is about knowing what you are worth. And you are worth greater things. And that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, diba, pakawalan mo na siya. And then, you know, it gives you time and space for somebody that is really meant for you to come in your life, diba? Yeah. I think the messaging of your songs, the communication of your music is very, very, you know, appropriate to the current generations because this is such a feeling generation. Your generation is such a feeling generation. <laughs> why, do, why do you think that people of your generation is such a feeling generation? Masyadong in touch. Yung sobrang sensitive, mabilis mo offend, mabilis mo saktan, mabilis naman makamove on. Why do you think your generation is so in touch with their feelings? Ooh, Kevin naman ata. <laughs> Parang is feeling. Uh, I feel like it's because we are the social media generation, I think it has something to do. Oops. I lost you. Okay. I can hear you. I can hear you. Malakas yung ulan dyan, no? I feel like because we... I feel like it has something to do with us being a social media generation where it's all fast-paced and it's all on. Mm-hmm. So we tend to find, to always be on the hunt for something real. And the moment we are in touch of, you know, something that sparks our emotion, we grab it. We take it because we want something real. And I think that goes for everyone, but I think it's just more for this generation because we're the ones who are on our phones and are on our screens 24-7. Oh, that's true. I think you're and then not, oh. and not uh, pushing through it, and that made carrying the shame so worth it. I immediately took it off, and um, if my purpose was something else, then I should carry the shame. But the, my purpose is to be a friend and to um, share God's love and remind people that they are loved and that they are not alone. And so. And so it, it was very easy to take off the shame. But recently, um, so in the last few years, I would get messages like that all the time. Um, and then for the very first time, there was a, I think this was just two weeks ago, um, 
I I met somebody and she said that her best friend um, was a really big fan of mine and um, her last post was was my video uh, and there's so many things I don't understand and I feel like I could have done more could have um, she, she she passed away because she 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 was uh, really depressed already she couldn't go home. And then two days after she took her own life, um, her the travel ban was lifted, um, and she had two kids that she left. And for me, like for me, it was so hard. It was so hard to to listen to that. It was so hard to, and I looked at her her page and. Her last post really was me, and her very words was, "I was talking about hope." And her her words were, "Her words were, I hear you, Moira." And well, that is so heavy for me to hear. But if if I didn't speak up about that. Like, how do you have to comply? We got you. It's never like that. It was always like, it's such an honor to be working with you. This is how we, you know, we're not going to release anything unless you're happy. Um, but yeah, I, I I, can't speak for for whatever happened to them. But yeah, I, I, I just wanted to say that because um, the, the team that worked with me, I've really grown to love. And I feel very sad for... Um, yeah, I, I stand where I stand. I think that's a very, very fair statement. I think that's a fair assessment of what's going on, what's happening. I feel like, Shembra, but we're so quick to judge and everything. But now that, you know, we have somebody like you who's very objective and, you know, speaks your experience, you believe, and we have, you know, we can more or less make a more informed decision. So thank you for that. For, thank you for for clearing that up. And of course, I'm not gonna let you go without you know, like sabi sa kami makantahin mo yan. <laughs> I wanna ask you for two songs. So Shamra, di ba Moira? I wanna ask you for a song that I a go to song of yours that you wanna sing to all of your friends. Because Shamra, di ba four days, five days na ba tayo, Four days. Four days in lockdown, five days in lockdown. Siyempre, babalikan namin yung mga kanta mo. And then I'm gonna ask you for another song that is not yours, that inspires you, that makes you feel that life amid the, you know, the lockdown is worth living. So one song from you and one song that you love that isn't from you. Love. song that's not <laughs> Ah, sige, yung from you muna, yung from you muna. Siyempre, siyempre, asa na lang ako na yun yung favorite song pa from you. Wait, what? Say hi to Jason pala, ha, for all of us. He's downstairs. Okay, sige, from you, your, your, your favorite song of yours. This is a song that I, I wrote for my anxiety. Um, okay. But at least called. Oh, oh wow. Love, I am right here. Don't you believe what the enemy tries so hard to make you believe? You're not alone. Never will be Cause even when you feel lost You'll be found in me I hear all your cries I know all the lies Stay with me And don't just close your eyes Don't be afraid I'll take all the bullets from you Though you feel 
validation and so much healing when you know that you're not going through things alone there's strength in um, 